Doctors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the seventh uh, of October. Woo! Dow's down five hundred and three at twenty nine thousand four twenty four. We had that spectacular fifteen hundred point move from twenty eight thousand seven fifteen a week ago, <clears throat> right into Wednesday, and Wednesday we hit thirty thousand four fifty four. <clears throat> We are now a thousand points lower. We're at 29,429. So this is not the end of the world because I've seen these patterns before. Instead of making the dreaded H where you make this arch formation fade at a peak A or B, we've done that quite a few times in the Dow, especially since the uh, August the 16th high of 34,281. Um, so in this context, let me just do this real quickly. Those H patterns, when they fail at a peak A or a B and take out the left side low, can go quite a bit lower. And we've seen that once. We've seen it twice. We've seen it three times. We've seen it four times. This is now the fifth time. Normally, when you get to the fourth or the fifth time, you make a much larger arch formation. And if it doesn't take out that low within, I'd say, maybe two times the number of bars that went up. In this case, it was three bars up. So that takes you about six bars. It takes you to maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. If it hasn't taken out 28,715, there could be a case made that now you could get the lowercase h. Gosh, i got to do this because I know there are always people that come in, maybe have not heard me before, or don't, uh, don't know much about the Chapman Wave methodology. So let me just do this real quickly. I look at three patterns, and you can just see them right here. I'll, I'll, let me move this to there so that you can at least see them on the left side. Straight line up, green. Straight line down, red. Cup formation or arch formation. So it's three basic patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation or arch formation. Now, the cup formation could be a V, but it's going from one point down back to that point. How do you deal with the left side high? And the arch formation you're going from one point up to the back to that, how do you deal with the left side support? It becomes a dreaded H when from a sharp move down, especially if it goes to peak A or B and then fails only after one peak or two peaks and takes out the left side low, very negative. On the upside, if it takes out the left side high after a trough A or B, yeah, that's, that's, that's important, but it's I use technicals on the downside a lot more and chart patterns than the notation, although I like to have the notation because it tells you about speed. It also tells you about the determination, no, the determined, determinedness of the move down. And um, so that's important. But if you take out that left side high, you can go a lot higher. All right. So we've got those patterns out the way. Now let's do this. You've got peak F and the chap wave. Oh, yes, the next thing I need to do just real quickly. You try to identify the lowest low bar, and you really count each success, excessively higher high, alphabetized uppercase letters on the way up, lowercase on the way down. And each one's counted peak A is your first, peak B is your second, peak peak C is the third. It's got nothing to do with A, A to B equals C to D. It's absolutely completely different. It has nothing to do with the wave. It is just a very simple technique that says higher highs invariably can go all the way to G, but at D it could recycle to another buy mode. But at D, other things can happen. The target in the chapter wave is if it goes from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, you anticipate this should be at least a PD. And that's, it's just as simple as that. So here we go. We got your peak F at 34,281 back in August. Uh, it pulled back. Then on that bounce, we shorted. We're still short for the intermediate term. And in the very near term, we bought the low on Monday. Uh, we've taken a little bit off. We've taken something off. 
And uh, it's gone to a peak A, and that's why I'm watching this very closely. And that's also why I'm saying because the MACD is finally cross positive. The nine period under the 14 period is still very negative, but it could make a W formation. And the stochastic actually rallied to 54%, not bad. On balance, volume has been telling me to be very careful because I needed a follow through by today to make a new recovery high. We haven't got that. So I've got that out the way. The weekly chart, you see, we took out the left side low of 29,653 made in June. And I, I, would, I said I would discuss this today. I wanted to wait for Friday. I, I couldn't do it intra week yesterday. Now we're much closer to the end of the day. So with that, in that context, what I'm saying is that the monthly chart has gone to a leg C and if the 28,715 low on Friday is not taken out in October, that becomes a trough C. If it gets taken out by one penny, even though it's 28,715.85, if it goes to 0.84, that extends leg C down in October. So this is a really important moment for many reasons. So I, I'll, I'll discuss this in more detail when I get to the S&P uh, uh, soon. I'm going to do it right now just in terms of the near term. Near term, we're down 75 or 36.68. Island reversal up, island reversal down. Well, actually, it's just an island reversal down. Um, and this is really important. Here again, you've got the large arch formation, failed at a peak B, B minus, MACD is negative, stochastics at 18% in the weekly chart, not good, 9 is way under the 14. There's a lot of work to be done. I've been saying all week that you got to, you, you probably have to see much higher prices for the 9 period in the daily chart to actually cross positive and turn green in the daily. Now, let me just do this because it fits our time frame, uh, this opening segue, uh, this, this moment of uh, where I do the analysis. I uh, also, you can see I've got Obama, Trump. And that's just because I like to see uh, what's happened during the, the various uh, presidents. Uh, most importantly, we've had mo we have a trough B, and then we can get as we can get a trough. Uh, there it is. We can get a trough C. But when you get to a C. There's only one time back in October of 2011 that that just took off and you never saw that again. Most of the time when we get to a C, you could have a decent following month, but then you must anticipate there's a really good chance of going to a D. I'm going to discuss that more in detail, uh, maybe a little later on, but I'll discuss it all next week because how we come into Tuesday is going to be so important. So with that said, the cautionary step we, for subscribers to opening call, we've raised a huge amount of cash. This is one of the smallest long positions we've had. And uh, within that context, let me show you something here. QQQ, NDX 100, trading a gap down. This is an iron reversal so far to the downside. Uh, it was one to the upside. Now it's the downside. You've got uh, until, as I say, Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to extend it maybe to Wednesday. But if 267.10, the low on Friday, isn't taken out, there's a chance you could make, oh, I wanted to show you the chart with the H because the lowercase H can become a lowercase M and merely trade sideways for a while before if it holds the base, the, the, the horizontal trend line, that means it could have a relative upside that's quite strong. But if it fails, that's a big negative, especially in this large arch formation. If this fails um, and we go below 263 in the QQQs, that's just suggesting something much deeper is unfolding. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Dow's down. 490. We'll be right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, 
Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. So I, a couple of things that I was doing, let me just see if I can even remember where I was before we went to the break. Because uh, I had a number of requests and I'm going through the different charts. Uh, yes, I need to do the IWM. The IWM is just a quick overview. IWM acting way better than the others. It's kind of full. There's no iron reversal, but it has kept down. There was an iron reversal to the upside. It's now filled that. I'm watching the, the, the iShares Russell 2000 small caps. And one of the reasons is no, no position, just watching it because at some point, the 162.48 low of June has not been taken out. It went to 163.28 in a successful so far dreaded H pattern from a peak B. There's no peak B minus because it's still in play. <clears throat> and we didn't go to a, a leg C down in the monthly chart. Uh, we stopped just a, a point, a little bit over a point above. So, uh, no, less than a point. <clears throat> so there are a number of factors here that are telling me this is all a process. So the process is how do we hold the June lows? Well, most of the indices went below, quite a bit below the June lows. Um, how does the H pattern formulate in terms of the whole month of October? Where do we go and what's leading? So I'm going to get to that in a moment, but let's just go on to gold. Uh, gold has had a very strong move from the continuous contract around about 1620 to the 17, almost 1740. Trading at 1706, not, not bad at all. Single leg A up and then just to pull back modestly. I like that very much. It's a leg A stopped dead at the 14 period exponential moving average in the, there we go, in the weekly chart. It's done that before, but the technicals now are just a little bit better than it was at the rally in late June, early July that lasted four weeks and then failed. So I'm going to be monitoring this closely. And the monthly chart is still not a very good looking chart at all. But it's what happens 
in the near term. In other words, it's like anything when you're turning the corner, if you, a speedboat can turn around very quickly. A super tanker takes forever. Our economy is a super tanker. That's why it's taken the Fed so long to be able to really do anything. Fabulous program earlier on uh, uh, by Tommy uh, talking about the, the interest rates, about the Fed, the obligations, what, what they said, where we are. Uh, really nice, uh, gives us a, a good understanding of the implications, and that's really important. Silver is pulling back sharply down 39 cents at 20.27. Spectacular move that peak D underneath the 200 period moving average. The further away we go from the 21.46 uh, 200 period exponential moving average, the longer everything else takes. So that's the uh, silver looking at uh, the dollar. The dollar has had a really strong move to the upside. Uh, from the 110 level, 114.78 was peak D, and that peak D is uh, uh, still in play, and we've pulled back. I haven't yet put a down arrow because the nine period moving average is still so strong above the 14 in the daily chart and definitely in the weekly chart. So uh, we, we just remain along the dollar. I think this is the icon. This is the, this is the place that money has just been going to ar around the world, and that's not just uh, uh, mutual fund money or anything. These are these are countries. This is big money that goes into the dollar, just like bonds. Talking about bonds, look at this U.S. dollar. Uh, sorry, U.S. bonds uh, pull back. It's almost at the low that was made. Remember, it made this double bottom low in the monthly chart. It's been the whole. I think it was last Friday, was it? Yeah, I think it was last week. We were looking at it, and I said, this is going to be key. 100, 123 this is a continuous contract. I'll call it 123. It's probably changed again. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, 123.30 and 30, 30 seconds was the low on in October 2018. Spikes up all the way to the continuous contract, so that it'll be the current price, 183 and 18, 30 seconds in the monthly peak D. Chapman Way peak D is where that's where you're – Wait a moment, hold your, put your foot, hover over the brake to see whether or not a caution light is going to get you a red to stop or whether you just turn green again. And sometimes you do that. And like uh, the U.S. bonds went on to ease, it went on to E in 2012, pulled back sharply, started a brand new move to the upside, went to E, pulled back sharply, went to an alternate count, F slash, uh, F slash, B and G slash C and then failed around about July of 2016 and came down to the October 2018 low of 123. So 123 was important. And what did we do? We hit 123 the other day, bounced a little bit, and now we're at 125 and 10, 30 seconds. And the trajectory, just a visual trajectory of these red candles, like a weekly chart, says at some point you should get a green candle. But uh, I, I don't want to go to it now, my uh, uh, three, my triple weekly, uh, but I will go to the TLT and show you that that's slightly different. The TLT went to 100.90, uh, 100 and today the low is 100.47. Leg F to the downside, dreaded H pattern, fails at a peak B. So that's what I wanted to show you how these things work. Now, a couple of things are going on that are really important. I think that based on the VIX index, and I have some questions, so I'm going to get to the questions in, just in a brief moment. So the VIX index is trading at 31.08. It is still in the lower part of the down channel, this little mini down channel that I call the inside track, channel wave inside track repellent zone. So this is a potential Roman candle as it stands right now in the weekly chart. There are a lot of implications. I'll try to get into the implications later on. Other than to say, Friday's close, today's close is really important for the weekly chart of the VIX index. If it closes towards the high, the high today so far is 31.76. If there's another big sell-off, uh, Dow's down 4.15, S&P's down uh, 68. If there's another big sell-off and the 31. 76 high today is taken out and we pull back. That means that the VIX index has a chance to actually close towards the upper part of this particular channel. And if it closes above, that's today, right? Above 32.40, 32.40. That's a big move up. It means that there's about another 200 points down if that's the case in the market, in the Dow. That says it's closed above this trend line, the green trend line, for the very first time since it made a high 
back in January of 38.94. I'll be back in a moment. I think there's going to be a break. Is there a break? Is there a break? I'm waiting a sec. Okay, let's just, while I'm waiting, a uh, question came in for MS, MSOS. MSOS is the advisor shares pure U.S. cannabis sector. So you see this huge spike that happened yesterday. Was that on the news? Was that also uh, um, um, President uh, uh, talking about the uh, the convictions, uh, just eliminating them? Well, let's just go to MJ. MJ is the um, MJ is the alternative harvest ETF cannabis sector had a big spike. Giving back some of this. I think that what we're looking at here is this is exactly what this kind of market does. Searching, searching, searching for sectors. Will this particular sector land up being in play, meaning higher highs and higher lows, um, in October? And all I can say is that it's that it's really risky because every time there's a huge spike like this, there's a peak, the fourth highest peak, 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 back in August, and it plummets from the sixth, uh, 50s down to the 450s. Ay, ay, ay. So all I can say is I, I'm going to do a little bit of work during the break. I'll be back. There's a lot of questions. We're going to look at on computer. We're going to look at XLE. Uh, I'll be back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Folks, as we're about to go to a different, uh, a, a different sectors, different stocks, uh, Duffy in the Den uh, did this whole thing about Dexcon, DXCM. Uh, I followed this company just as a chart. Um, basically, it's uh, it's a uh, leader in real time continuous glucose monitoring for people with diabetes. Um, I have type two. I've had it for a long, long time. It's very well in control. But I follow this company because it's uh, a very well automated uh, thing. And I remember writing uh, 
you're typing in, I, I'm, I've got it somewhere, but it isn't on this particular chart for some reason. The, the CEO was interviewed uh, at 164.86 was the high in November of last year. Now, I don't know where I had it, but I especially wrote it down. What I do very often is when it, um, the CEO is, is interviewed by Kramer and by chance I happen to be listening to it, I, I type it in. I don't see it here. Did I? I must have lost it. All right. Well, it's not there. But it was back last year. It was somewhere around. I, I know that it had just made the top. And uh, Kramer, who's always talking about these companies who are, uh, do incredible work in the certainly the medical field, that has nothing to do with the price of the stock. Just they do incredible work. Had the C on. It was somewhere around 100. I remember saying, oh, man, it just made a top. Um, or at least it made a high of 164.86 in August of, uh, no, this was November the 18th, back in 2021. And it, somewhere around here, the guy got interviewed, and he was talking about it, and they were just, it was unbelievable, and they're doing this, and they're doing that, and I thought, well, this is a great company, but uh, I've got to watch it. When it went from 150, first of all, it went down to 88. No, it went to 91, February of 22, then it went peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, and peak E. Failed again, made the dreaded H pattern. I want to show you some of the – look at the symmetry. Bar symmetry is just uncanny. I mean, when you learn how to do this, it's really remarkable. And then it went down to a low. Oh, I did type that in. A double, a triple bottom low back in May. Um, that was on May the 25th, and it continued for a whole, a whole month at that low of – 66.89, then a, a really good rally. It went to a peak at G, and then it made this top, double top. Look at this, right here, right here, and right here. And look at the way the stochastic failed so quickly, and the price came back, made a lower low. Now there's a gap up right at the 200 period moving. Look how important the 200 period moving average, this orange line is. It's been, it, the closer it gets, especially on the second round towards that, it always is like a magnet. It makes a W formation here, and it spikes up on news, obviously, today. It's trading up $8 at 103.21, at 8.4%. But isn't it interesting? So it went from the 150-ish area, 100, let's call it 140, 150, down to 66, 68. And now it's at 103. But that's after the fantastic report. I mean, I could show you this on Shopify. I can show you this on so many, so many, a firm, a unity. I can just give it to you where the CEOs right at the top were just, they weren't bragging. They were just telling you what they thought was happening that was fantastic for their company. And boom, it comes down. So in the daily chart, in the weekly chart, it's gone to a peak A, B, C, it's a leg C. And this is a, a very strong company. The move today is really good. So I just wanted to show you, I thought it was interesting. I, it, Duffy gave it really nice. Um, uh, diabetes is unfortunately a growth industry, correct? Um, and gr I mean, a growth industry, you would not. The young people, the number, the percentage of young people that have diabetes, well, you see them. I, I, I mean, I see them here, Newton North High School is just uh, down the road. Um, and... Uh, there's you know there are all these CVSs and all that and and food places and they just eat I mean they eat you can understand it when you're young but they have high um, uh, they definitely have high DB, diabetes numbers so okay now let's go back so the question came in could I also look at GTBIF GTBIF so this is the same thing this is now this is called uh, green Thumb Industries, huge move. This is a little bit better chart formation. Leg C in the weekly chart. Um, it's gone from the, let me just give you the numbers right here. It's gone from a low, uh, was, that wasn't the real low. That The real low was at $7, and on the 5th of July, it went to seven seventy two. And then it had a peak C, C1. Remember, the, and this is a technical Friday. So peak C that then pulls back and just fails to make a leg D, but the technicals all indicate there was enough strength to do it, but it just failed to do it. I call that an alternate count C1, C2. 
acting like a D and you can get a sharp pullback, which you did. Then you get a brand new buy mode that says peak A, gray A. But now you want to because the nine period moving average is still very strong and the MACD never turned very negative. You want to either continue the count or just keep alternative wave counts. So the alternative count is D slash B and then E slash C at the high at about 14. The exact number is 14.00. Uh, round number high, it has a little bit of a dip, a dip from the, uh, the round number 14 to $8.90 September the 30th. Bounces very sharply by the 4th of uh, October. It goes to uh, 10.83. Pulls back again. Looks like it's going to fail. And yesterday it was failing miserably. All of a sudden the news came out, I guess, uh, about the, in the cannabis sector. And GTBIF, Green Thumb Industries, spirals up to the 200 period moving averages, goes above it, closes well below. And today it's working its way towards 14.21. It's up 49 cents at 13.64. I, out of the, what we were looking at, this is a better chart pattern. But I also want to say, individual stocks, you've got to do your homework because in this particular area, the individual stocks are all over the place. Let me just see uh, CGC. Uh, you see, look how it's given back. Peak A, peak B, peak D. What's, what's D tell you? D says, be careful. Last time we went to D, and then quickly an E, and then failed in the 440-ish area. Plummets down to the 247-ish area, and now, oh, to even lower. Yeah, and now it's going to peak A, peak B. All right, now I didn't want to take too much time in this sector, but the question came up, so I did it. So it's gone to a leg D. It's still called the leg D until the day is done. So if it doesn't go above yesterday's high. So it's all individual stocks, and what I would say is rather, if you haven't done your homework, rather just be t take the generic thing. You remember, we once had the marijuana, the MGH, uh, kind of uh, the M MJ, and we had huge, huge gains. We haven't been in this for a long time. I'm beginning to think in this particular market, this is an area that I want to become interested in. I haven't done that yet for subscribers. It's at 5.33, the MJJ. This is probably a safer way to do it and also more risky, safer way in the sense that you're not taking an individual stock that can spiral up or just crash. You're just in the generic sector, cannabis sector ETF. I, I, I'm holding off right now. I'm just saying the best of, is the one that you had uh, mentioned, asked about, and that was GTBIF, GTBIF, there it is, and it's holding quite nicely today. And this is a better chart pattern at 13.66, but remember, high risk, high risk, high risk. A GD, a G, uh, okay, so here's the question. <clears throat> Could I look at on technology? I've spoken about this before. I've said it's held so on semiconductor, corporation intelligence sensing, data and power solutions. My suspicion is that it's in an area probably maybe to do with automobiles because of all the sensing that is needed. I think it's still a, a, in the, a dangerous area. So it's 66.75. I would just say, I don't know if you would say you entered or anything like that, but I'm looking at it. Yesterday looked quite good, but today's actually down almost $5 at 65 points. Hold off, we'll look at it again maybe by Monday. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Well, folks, I, I won't take too much time about this now because there are a number of other questions. But I wanted to show you how this symmetry in the market is I call it bar symmetry. It's just, it's an incredible uh, way of looking at markets. Arches and cups, arches and cups, left side, right side, price, time, match. Sometimes you get the price, sometimes you get the time, but definitely if you look at the number of bars on the left, you can see the match on the right. Look at this, uh, I, I just scroll through and peak D in the Chapman wave. Look how many Ds there was a D at just before 6.50 this morning in the one minute E-mini, peak D again at about 7.12, um, then it pulls back to the 200 period moving average. I mean, these are unbelievably easy things to do. There's, you know, there's nothing you have to do, it's there. And then a peak D again uh, at about 7.53 pulls back and then it goes to a peak, whoopsie, it goes to a peak D at 8.20 as we're getting closer to uh, the market uh, and then it suddenly pops to an E, pulls back and then as the news comes out, it goes to an F and plunges. Look at this 200 period moving average of incredible support and right through it goes down to 37.11 and the E-mini bounces up to a peak B in the dreaded H pattern and then turns around and takes out the left side low, goes to a trough C, then it goes to peak A, B, C, D again and I didn't, I had a plus sign but then I was about to, I'll get, I was getting ready for the show so I didn't do anything and look at this peak D, a beautiful arch formation and what does it do? It takes out, here we go, let me just, let me just draw this in without showing you the other side. So we're going to go from there to D, and then all I do is a measured move. You don't have to have the rectangles, anything. you can have a straight line, maybe change the color, or make one dashed, one, um, one straight, and look at this. It goes to, is this not incredible? I, I, you know, I can have all these techniques in the world, you can have all these uh, programs, it doesn't matter. Look at this vertical line right there. And look at the measured move. And it took it out on the left side to the right side from the midpoint perfectly at 9.44 or something like that. And it kept going down. I haven't had a chance to draw anything in here, but yes, you peak A, peak B, peak C, and it went to a peak D. Pull back. This time, it's held way above the left side high. So it says maybe now you're going to look at the cup formation and that we start to bounce towards left side high. These are techniques. I wanted to show you this very quickly. Um, the high is 3692.50 at 10.24 and we should be getting close to that very soon. Now what I wanted to see, I'll show you is, so uh, Jason, I believe you call about the, uh, you, you texted about on, I, I'm just saying hold off on these, semis, uh, uh, in the whole area there are some 
really good looking semiconductor stocks in terms of how the others have crashed and they have held very well. On semiconductor is one of those. There are a couple of those that have done that. But just at the moment, I'd say be careful. And, then, and just real quickly, Paul, yes, TBT, we know. I've been discussing this. It's not that I don't understand. There's nothing to not understand. We've been talking about this forever, that the Fed says they want higher yields, and you've gone to a peak E in the TBT, pull back, and now you've tried a double top. You've gone just, I think, a hair above. And this is a GSC in the weekly chart. And my monthly chart says that it's gone to a leg D. And there are still high levels on the left side that we, we, we can, can look at. So TBT continues to be in play, even though on a very short-term basis, it's a tad overbought. And the high that was made on the 26th. I don't want to run out of time. 26 at 32.92. Today's high is 32.94. So I'm calling this just for the moment. Could be an alternate count, but I'm calling it a peak, a leg F to the upside. F is where you start being somewhat cautious and you say, is there a chance that you have an instant restart somewhere? Well, lo and behold, you do have an instant restart right here. That means it could be from a peak D within three bars, you make a higher high. You have to consider that there's an alternate count. So I will call this F slash B. And that's as simple as all. There's nothing else to do. Okay. Now, XLE. A lot of questions came in. Um, Basil, could you do an analysis of the XLE? You've been talking about it all week. Uh, do you have a position? Unfortunately, I do not have a position for subscribers. I've been wanting to, but it's one of those that you, you, you either had to close your eyes and just grab it as it was going up because it was the only thing that was really on fire. And most importantly, the stochastic in the daily is at 89%. This is the S&P Select Energy Spider Fund. I've been talking about how the week, monthly chart is held so beautifully. I sp it was so easy to do. I talk about easy, and I never did it. You know, sometimes we get carried away with other things. But look at this Chapman Wave Inside Check. Look, first of all, this mag magnificent up channel in the weekly chart. Uh, let me just drag this across. Here we go. Magnificent. Okay. Um, I have a Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone that's been on. It's just been working like a, a beautiful, like a doozy, they used to say. At 45.12, the week of the, the 20th of August, it holds, and then it goes higher, and it goes higher, and it goes to a peak D uh, right there underneath the inside track repellent zone in the up channel back in the week of the 11th of March at 80.22. Peak D, then it has another inside buy that goes peak A, peak B, peak C, and it goes to D outside the up channel resistance. And then it has a very sharp uh, decline from the um, 80, whoops, I'm sorry, from the 9331 high of the week of the 10th of June. In four weeks, five weeks, four or five weeks, it drops right down to the red uptrend line of the Chapman Wave inside track. Propellant zone at 65.48, and here is trading almost 20 points high. It runs up to a peak, B pulls back, tests the line again last week. Oh, and I was talking about did everything except didn't buy it because that was the perfect buy. Even if it went across the 200 period moving average, it's had two big gaps. Of course, everyone talks about gaps and says, I mean, this is an incredible island reversal in the daily chart. Uh, it's had gaps, two gaps to the upside, and it's gone green. The only green bars from uh, the 28th, I think it is, of uh, September. Uh, uh, yeah, well, September 28th. Yep, 28th of September. Green candles, nothing but green candles. Is it getting toppy? Well, maybe it is, but maybe crude oil, crude oil is doing the, the right thing. It's going to the Chapman Wave inside track. Repellent zone in leg B. It's still, it was a great leg B. Now I can call it a buy signal because the stochastics at 87%. That's really strong. Uh, crude, uh, crude oil is up 274 and 91.19. That weekly chart is still not great, but we've really done a tremendous uh, a lot of amount of work to resolve um, the dropping below the low that was made back in, I think it was May. 
Was it May? Yeah, no, it was March, week of the 18th at 8275. We went below it. We've been in the continuous contract to about 76. And yeah, we are at 91. And this is now a brand new gray leg A in the weekly chart. Now let's go back to the XLE because these are the things I wanted to show you. Look at, where do we go? Okay, look at this arch formation. And if you use the same techniques I was talking about before, on this low right here, you beat D. A day later, it broke that below it. I'll be back in a moment. That's the chapter. Tiger, they just about looking at the XLE. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, yes, so uh, let me just, a question came in, I'll uh, answer it right away. E, uh, EQT, which is EQT core, natural gas and hydrocarbon trading up 38 cents, 44.32. Where could I uh, re-enter? I, I, this is a person who's already had it, understands it very well. I said, right here, but it must hold the 42s. Is it 44.33 40, uh, right now? Uh, that might be too big a stop, about 5%, but it's, it's a starter position. And if it can spike over 46.01 by, I, I'd say real soon, by Tuesday, Wednesday, without taking out, it's 43.44 right now, without taking out 42 support. I think that it, it harbors well and augurs well 
for the weekly chart, which has got a nine period moving average over the 14 to go even higher. So let me just do this uh, a kind of, I didn't do even half of what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you dozens of these arch formations and cup formations that are just a beautiful left side, right side price tie match. This one's a little longer uh, in uh, to the downside XLE, it dropped sharply, but now it's going back. And that says that in the relationship of time, it's got a long period, but then because of the speed, I, I would find a different bar in which to look for the left side, right side price time match. And that just says to me, by Tuesday of this coming week, the XLE should attempt to get to the high that was made on the 29th of 85.18. It doesn't, it sounds like, ah, oh, just two points. You know what? It's had such a huge move. This is where you should start to store. If you look at the... Um, 120 minute chart, it's got a G slash C. So for those of you technic tech oh, this is what I wanted to show. This is an exact left side, right side price time match to the high that was made at peak C1, C2 at 11.30 on the 14th of September at 82.85. So it's accomplished that already in the exact price time match. Look at this, beautiful cup, beautiful vertical plumb line right there. And we did it exactly now to G slash C. That's just a good back, make it then back. Yeah. So.